Yo, so guys, it's Cabal, and I'm back with yet another video. Now, I was supposed to record the Fortnite video today, but, um, like, the Q-Tons are mad long, so. Five in the morning, so that's probably why the Q talks a lot. So I'm gonna try again later. Uh, anyways, for now, we're on the Fed Chronicles Top Food. Watch the video called Father Sells Kids for Drugs. That is crazy. Crazy. Anyways, let's get into the video. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got you. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got you. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Wait, he's, he's trying to get black lungs. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yo! Oh, oh hell no! Shut up! Shut up! What the hell is wrong with this? That shit is grumpy. No. No. Dude, what the? This man just contradicted himself. Cause if he if he realized the situation, they're gonna be outside, you know. They're, gonna be, they're not gonna be making noise in the car, so he can think. How about this? How about this? How about I get out, right? It's, it's our car, right? Y'all pay for it. Let me get. Let me get out. And shut your bitch ass up. Or y'all be stuck in la la land. Look at that G's scratching us. Oh, oh, hell he's hell no. No. It's a tweaker and a geeker. Relax. I'm just checking to see if you're okay. He's a fiend. Listen, listen to me. I got a lot to think about. And I ain't got a lot of time to think about it. Right? It's just nonsense. Personal stuff that you ain't got nothing to do with. Well, the deranged man just screaming out loud to the top of his lungs. The two kids in the back seeks for a need of concern. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. You got. You got. You got. All right. Listen. Listen. I'm down on my luck. Okay. Right. I'm down on my luck. I ain't got no gas. I ain't got two kids. I ain't got no drugs. I ain't got nothing. I have nothing. Sounds like you need a drink. Lips, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I'm lips. stronger than a drink. From the looks of it, those, good, those drugs ain't good for you, man. I just confiscated a whole supply from, um, from a colleague of mine at work. So you got some? Yeah. Well, well. Why are you boys talking about? Why are these pretty little angels not enjoying some fresh air? Okay, excuse me, but who are you? This is my wife, Patricia. She be a bad uh, Everyone calls her Patty. She's, uh, oh. she's a teacher for your kids after school, too. Oh, uh, never mind. We recognize you. Oh. It's nice to find out you Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, honey, I I'm going to make dinner. Okay. I'll go back inside if I see Nigel, too. Of course, beautiful. I'll bring a plate for you and your brother. I want a plate, too. Let me get some food. Look, I'm sure. All right. And those so pretty called angels are the Marquis, Chris and Mike. Um, P. Chris and Mike? I live in the neighborhood. Wait, which one's the girl? I mean, I'd assume based off the way, it's, but I'm assuming the girl's name is Chris, but I, based off the way it's spelled, it's spelled, it's spelled like a boy's name. For over a year. Look at it, bro. We don't really get out much. Oh, Pete. Like, 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 Peter? Oh, 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 Peter? Oh, 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 Peter! Oh, 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 this nigga, bro. Okay, look, listen. What was you saying a minute ago when you said you got out the drugs? I got was getting from a group home that I own. Uh, I was supposed to file a police report. No, 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 no. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. All right? You don't need to do that. I can take them off your hands for you. Yeah. Yeah, me. I don't think that's a good idea. 
And especially with two kids in the backseat. Hey, man. Say, I don't need you judging me. Just tell me what you want. What you want? Huh? Imagine you get them for free. I make you, I make you a better deal. Okay. I'll give you my kids. Yo! Yeah. yeah. Look at the look in his eyes. So you'd give your kids for drugs. That's foul. Yeah. Yeah. It's, they don't need me. They got you and Miss Patty. I, I need to fix. Say, say, man, listen. This is the opportunity for you to be the hero in all of this. Right? They can be with you and your wife. To me, it looked like a win-win situation. You're insane. It is you not going to be a... I guarantee you for sure, it is not going to be a win-win situation. He's going to get his drugs, and once he runs out, he's going to start tweaking and feeding again. To give up your kids. And half of the drug dealers are all connected to traffickers. I'm sure you don't want no, none of your kids in the back of somebody's container. But, man, listen, for the right price, look, it's either you or it's them. Right? I ain't got no money. Look, I'm broke. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no gas. This right here ain't gonna run unless it's got some gas. I need some drugs. I need a hit. This guy, if this guy was smart, he would just sell the drugs so he could get money to buy gas. Free. What's it? What is it? So you trade your kids instead of just applying them for government assistance or for healthy adoption? Hey! Serious? Since you want to play that, I'm gonna call my drug dealer. Huh? How about that? I'm gonna call my drug dealer. I bet you I get double for my daughter. More than my, my own son. Okay. Yeah. No. All right, please. Please. Yeah. All right. I'll give you what you want. Oh, you will. Oh, yeah. Just please don't give them to those people. You, you, you're doing a lot of talking right now. They finna get, they finna no get sent to the final monster. monster. All right. All right, kid. Kid. Come on. We're about to play a little game. The game is called Good Riddance. Yo, look at his smile, bro. <laughs> bro, this man is a... This man has... Yo. This little fiend. Hey, yeah. hold, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hi. Is this nigga serious? Bro. That's what the freak? It, has, it should at least be like a a big brown bag. What the freak is he supposed to do with that small little small little bunch? Now I've never done drugs before, but I know that you know he, he probably can't do much of that. It depends what he's doing, I think. <sighs> That man, he, he pretty much just got a joke. Hi, right, kids. You about to go with, uh, what's your name? Pete. Pete. Peter and then Patty LaBelle. Come on. There you go. All right. You guys go with Patricia. Sounds like a loud black girl. You guys go with Patricia. I'll be right over there. Be careful crossing the street. You know that nothing good comes out of this. I hope you know what you're doing. Listen, you got kids, you and your wife, y'all got kids, right? I got this. That's the way Wait, it is. Since they are black children, does that mean they're both allowed to say the N word now? I mean, they're Mexican, so they probably say it regardless, but that gives them more of a reason to be able to say the N word. Right? Listen, have a good one. Right? Yo. You know, the kids need their father, right? They already don't have their mother. Say, man, listen. Let me tell you something. Don't go bring up their dead mother. Right? That's uh -oh. why he got you. The crackhead's gonna beat him up. The crackhead's gonna run his way. Right? It's a win-win. I am gone. Peace. I got what I need. <laughs> if it's up, then it's up. 
What is he? That man is straight chatting, bro. Telling you guys is what drugs does to you. Don't hit carts. Don't hit vapes. Don't smoke weed. Where you're gonna end up like him, you're gonna end up retarded and having Asperger's. Oh, no, Kevin. What are you going to do with these kids? How do we even begin to explain to them what his father has done to them? We'll tell them when they're old enough to understand. But right now, they just need our patience and love. I mean, we all have to adjust to this new life. It's not gonna be easy. He was going to sell them to whoever just for a quick fix. What matters now is that we take care of them and let them know that we're they're not alone. I won't put them through the system. I know what they do to siblings when they put them through the system. Oh, this is awful. Everything's gonna be okay. Sean will reap what he's shown for what he's done. Uh oh, it's rough for him. He's gonna die or something. Uh oh. Good evening, folks. I'm Officer Ware, the Quality City Police Department. Um, sorry to bother you, folks, but tonight there's a robbery directly across the street at your neighbors. Robbery? Um, me and my wife, we've been inside the whole time. Uh, it seems to be the problem. We found some narcotics in the home. And um, unfortunately, we also found your neighbor dead. No! What the freak? No! No! That was two, that was like a, only a few seconds after he said that, Jay. Nah, I must have DM'd him or some Jay, bro. Yeah. Uh, seems like it was an overdose, but we're st still investigating the situation, and um, we can't rule out foul play at this time. But um, also, we found some toys. He had kids? Um, yeah, he, they're, they're with us. Uh, we just didn't feel they were safe at them. We are doing a good thing. And if uh, social services asks, I'll go ahead and tell them the kids are with family, and that might get them off the trail for a bit. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm not going to take for a little bit. Time. Um, you folks have a good evening. And if you do hear anything at all, don't hesitate to call down the station and ask for officers aware. Okay? <laughs> you folks have a quality evening. You too. Bye bye. What do we tell these kids? Well, the truth. I mean, they've been lied to enough. We'll take it day by day. You know, we're going to have to be strong for them. Two parents in a year? I feel so bad for these kids. They lost two, but they gained two. All we can do now is pray for them, and hopefully they'll be OK. You're an amazing father already. I don't know what I'll do without you. We will be amazing parents. We'll just take this day by day and hope that everything comes out okay. Who are we leaving? <laughs> the moral of the story is, being a parent isn't in your DNA. It's in your heart. What the, what the freak does that mean? Anyways, uh, don't care, they didn't ask. But yeah, karma video. It wasn't nothing out of pocket. I mean, it was the gym was being weird, but it's whatever. But yeah, that's it today's video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And don't forget to comment down below. Worst case scenario, I run out of ideas. Also, come in clutch in the comment section. Even if I don't run out of ideas. I still don't trust you, so still comment down below. With that being said, I'm gonna see you on the next video. Peace.